It's time for another Battle Company's Battle Report. Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and I'm joined today by Snorre. Yeah. And we're playing in our uh, Battle Companies campaign, in-house campaign. Yeah. Uh, we're ten people uh, with eight different warbands. There's mm -hmm. two Eastling players and two Army of the Dead players. No, yeah. there's not. Oh. Uh, no, there's not. So there's nine different warbands. And you're playing Iron Hills. Yeah. Crazy, crazy dwarfs. The mighty dwarfs. And smelly dwarfs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and you've been quite uh, lucky with uh, influence. Yeah, I got a bunch uh, during the last game, mm -hmm. uh, which got me two goat riders, so I was quite lucky with the dice rolls as well. Mm -hmm. So, and I bought some goats, so I'm up to four goats now. Four goats. Yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of my hobbits missing uh, the game, so I have a total of 14 hobbits. Oh, that's quite a sizable force. Meeting your seven dwarfs. Yeah. Um, where's Snow White? Where is she? Yeah. Snow White and the seven dwarfs? The... Yeah. She left? She left. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Didn't want to do the wash washing up, stuff like that? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. So, we've rolled for a scenario and it's seize ground, uh, pretty straightforward basic scenario, five objectives, but uh, you have goats, so you can get places double as fast as me. Yeah. Uh, and we need to break each other, so I need to kill four of your models, you need to, you need to kill eight of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Between eight and one million. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's just hobbits. Um, my my one tactic will be to shoot against you, try to shoot the goats, try to shoot the the riders, try yep. to get like the number advantage in, so that when you finally get to in combat, uh, I'll have like three or four hobbits on one dwarf. Yeah. And I also have rerolls because you have a larger size warband, well, larger rating than me. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll get three extra influence points, and I have three rerolls I can use during the game, but not the post game sequence. So yeah, and you have just one upgrade, so you have plus one fight on your uh, leader. No, Bran. Uh, oh, the sergeant. The sergeant. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's basically not going to do anything because I have fight value of one or two yeah. <laughs> across the board. <laughs> um, so yeah, it it'll be interesting. I do I don't know how I rate my chances, but but yeah. Do you have any fe female hobbits? No, okay. no. Because we need a new Snow White, you know. The, the Lobelia model. Just has an umbrella. Okay. I don't know what that's going to be used as. Maybe a <laughs> maybe a hammer. Spear. <laughs> Hobbits can't have spears. <laughs> Hobbits with spears would be really really good because they can throw rocks in two ranks. <laughs> and then when you finally get the grips with them, you can you can use the spears. Would be awesome though. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get as many of the new forge old models as possible. So of course for the last game I painted up a new tall uh, pantalon. So I have the. Uh, um, the one that's throwing rocks of the new four drill models and I'll try to get, if I finally get to recruit some sheriffs I'll use the new ones as well oh, yeah, brilliant. so yeah let's just get on with the game yeah. and see uh, who's the best hobbit Yeah. or who's the best dwarf yeah. good luck may the best hobbit win during their travels this merry band of Sharlings have traveled far and wide and have now come to a ruined outpost a mining colony or something that has been decayed over the years. So we have some ruined buildings, we have some functioning buildings, and we have a decrepit gate, plus a few holes in there, and old mining supplies. But on the other side of the road there are dwarves afoot. Filthy, stinking, smelly dwarves. And these dwarves are trying to take some loot that is scattered around. So, the scenario is Seize Ground. We have five objectives, so the hobbits are already claiming one on the hill there. We have one over here, one over here, one near the road, and these dwarves are already holding one. 
sadly this dwarf must possibly go away from his objective to actually get to shoot anything with his deadly crossbow. So that's good for me. <laughs> so it's not a good luck. Good luck. And um, may the best hobbit win. Or dwarf. Or dwarf, yes. So, uh, let's go for priority for first turn. Doesn't look good for the Hobbit, so it goes with an STF-6 to uh, Snorra. So the Hobbits are drawing to one side as the Dwarves are coming for them. Still out of shooting range for everyone. Uh, these three are uh, possibly walking into the woods. Maybe? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but we go straight into priority for turn two. I'll use the red dice this time. It's a four. It's a four, so it goes to me. Um, <coughs> fair to note as well, uh, since uh, Snorri's Warband has like 50 something more points than me, uh, I will get three rerolls during the game and three extra influence points for playing the game. So, um, so yeah, I, I marked my rerolls, <laughs> so <laughs> I'll remember them. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll come back after we both have moved, I think. So after we've moved, uh, my hobbits shifted to the side again as the goats are coming in. Bring in the goats! <laughs> um, and they've claimed their third objective. So currently, you're winning. Woo! But we have four hobbit archers eyeing the goat riders <laughs> and they want to shoot them. Ah, oh, but they're immune to toothpicks. I'm sorry. I'm not shooting toothpicks, I'm shooting <laughs> arrows. So. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll start off with uh, with Tolman, I think, shooting at your leader. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what he can do. Three plus to hit. Missed. I'll not use a reroll. Uh, next up, we'll go with Bovo shooting at your leader. Hits. Hits the rider. Oh no. Uh, defense seven. Defense seven. Strength two. So that is sixes followed by fours, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Shall I use a reroll? No, I'll not use a reroll. I'll not use a reroll on a one in six chance. Uh, and next we can go with um, Hilwin Underlake uh, on your leader again. Miss. And lastly, we have Suno. Hits. Hits the rider. Come on, another six now, come on. In the tray, Andreas, come on. Oh, I'll not use a reroll on that. So, arrows are flying, but nothing happens. Right, priority. Six. six. One. Goes to me. All right, my movement is pretty simple. Pretty simple. Everyone stoops for stones. Except the Hobbit archers. Uh, what did you say? Everyone? They're stooping for stones. So oh. they can throw rocks at you. Okay. So you're not going to move at all? No. Uh, is that pretty covertly? Hmm? Is that very covertly? They're Hobbits. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The, the, that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna bring up the crossbow or bring in the crossbows, as Dane would have said. Mm -hmm. Bring in the crossbows. Uh, gonna do the cheeky uh, switch, which switch. they do in chess, like switching the tower with the other. Yeah, one. that's good because that means you only have you only have five models to fight me with. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I hardly ever need one anyway, it's Hobbit, so yeah. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna go well. <laughs> so, can throw rocks eight inches in Yeah, it? correct. Yeah. It's only strength one though. Yeah, that is, that is true. And dwarves eat rocks for breakfast anyway. <laughs> it's part of a healthy diet. Let's see. All right. So mm -hmm. they go up here. Yeah. And we have the last one. He's just gonna stand there. He's gonna look for rocks as well. He's gonna look stupid. Yeah. yeah. He's a quite 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 a collector. 
Uh huh. Yeah, shining rocks. Mm. So that means you're outside my eight. Yep. At least that's what I tried that's to your do. intention. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think him. He's a bit. He's in. So if you want to move him back, yeah. that's him outside eight. Yeah. So they can't charge me, nope. and I can't uh, throw rocks at them. Yeah. Uh, so intention's pretty clear. Okay. So I'll go with my shooting. Mm -hmm. We'll shoot at your leader with uh, Tolman again. Okay. And see what he can do. He missed again. Bovo hits. Hits the rider. No, no. I'm not going to use a reroll on that. Uh, Sono hits. Hits the rider. And lastly, we have uh, Hilduin. Hits. Hits the goat for once. Defense, uh, five. defense five, so that's sixes still. Oh, damn it. <laughs> 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 oh. Need to spend more time in the archery range. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so that was shooting. Yeah. Let's go with uh, with new priority roll. Okay. Nothing has died so far. It's a one, so you get it. Ooh. Yeah, so I can react to you. That's good. Yeah. Do you want to call in a heroic? No. No, oh, no, no, no. You can't charge me anyway, so. No. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's just gonna. Move up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see what are the goats gonna do. What are they gonna do? So how easy for them would it be to jump up that mountain since they got mountain dweller? But they still have to do with like size of the model, right? Or can they just charge right up there? Um, regarding this, they could just move up, I think. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Uh, I think you've got so many models, Andreas. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Yeah, so currently I have four models going in, that's you outnumbered over three to one. Yeah, which is going to make things very hard. But you only live once, and dwarfs are very courageous, so I think you're going to just going to try to be a bit cheeky. So your, see. You, your intention is to be outside my four? Yeah. Yeah, so I can't charge you? Yeah. But inside my throwing stone range? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Let's see. Up, up there and behind that, mm -hmm. and that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, yeah. So let's unleash the barrage of rocks because <laughs> we're not moving, <laughs> we're not moving an inch. Um, okay, so we can start off with Pantalon going for your leader, yeah, because your leader is there, right? Yeah, so one rock being flung, uh, hits strength one, but I hit the goat. So that's sixes on the goat. Nope. Uh, and then we have, yeah, I'll, I'll note it afterwards. This one, going for the leader. Hits. Hits the goat. Ooh. Straight six. Nope. Uh, then we go for the next one. That should be a new recruit, I think. Yeah, number 15. Hits. Hits the rider, going for sixes ball of by five. Fours. Uh, nope. And then we have Mr. Uh, Holfast. Uh, missed. Uh, we have this one. Miss. Uh, the guy behind him over here. Hits. Hits the rider. Nope. And then this guy. Hits, hits the goat, and come on. No! Ah, ah. So we're throwing rocks at animals, is it like some kind of weakened thing for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Miss, uh, the guy behind him with the axe. Miss, and the last guy. Hits, hits the rider, nothing. So that was all the throwing stones, oh, doing okay. nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. Uh, so my shooting with the actual arrows. Uh, Tolman goes for your leader. Hits for once. 
uh, goes for the rider uh, nothing uh, then Bovo Mest uh, Sono Mest and Hilduin hits hits the goat and nothing damn it nothing 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 sorry ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's the power of the dwarf mm -hmm. okay so important priority roll yeah goes for two so that doesn't bode well two so that goes to me yeah but i can't charge you if i move back four inches then you can't charge me either that, yeah that's true yeah uh, okay. Are you calling anything? No. No? No. Okay. So I'm actually moving. <laughs> so I don't want... <laughs> I want one more turn. <laughs> one more turn. Yeah. So after what Snorra called a cowardly move by the Hobbits, <laughs> because they moved backwards, uh, my Hobbits were outside charging distance. Um, we moved these two up to try to claim the objective. This guy stood still, the rest of them moved, and the Hobbits with bow stood still. So... Uh, and you moved um, your crossbow up to the objective there. Yeah. And this last guy is on his merry way to... to Sees the objective yeah. over there. The old switcheroo. The old switcheroo. So let's do the throw rock first on this guy. Yep. Hits. Hits the goat. Oh, I saw the six there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Uh, okay. So Bobo has a clean shot at your leader. Let's go for that one. Hits. Hits the rider. Six. Whoa. And needing a four plus. 50 50 chance. I'll use my reroll. No. Yes. Very coverly. No! Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, Tolman is going for this one. Yeah. That's the other sergeant. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hits. Hits the rider. And then we go for uh, Sono on, yeah, Sono on the sergeant, miss, and Hilduin on the sergeant, miss. Okay. <laughs> okay. Priority. Yeah. Gets a six, it goes to you. No, it goes yes, to it me goes still. To hmm. Anything to call? Uh, do I have anything to call? Um, no, I think I'm going to wait just a bit more. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Damn it, I wanted you to call a rogue move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to move first. During Articon, mm. I was a bit quick to call heroic moves and lost a lot of might that way, so I'm trying to be restrain myself. Yeah, because <laughs> if you charge in, oh no. Uh, I do have defended obstacle over here though. So you, mm, what will I do? Okay, I'll, I'll have a think and we'll come back. The dwarves have charged. <laughs> All bits moved backwards, all of them, even the archers moved back. Um, and now two of the goats use their mountain dweller rule to just climb up there and charge. Um, and yeah, we, uh, we have two rocks that's being flung from these two. But that's it. Uh, and this uh, dwarf with the crossbow can now shoot on one of these two guys. But I'm shooting first, so we'll go over the first rock on this guy from <coughs> the guy with the axe. Yep. Uh, we miss, and the other guy on the same target. Now we'll go in the way on your leader. Why not? He missed. Oof. Yeah. And your shot. Yeah. So I'm going to teach you how to shoot. Yeah. So false start is a master archer with his crossbow. He still hits on a four plus. 
Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets a six. Yeah, he does. He has strength four. Yeah, so needing four. Let's see. And that's a yep. four. So which one did you aim at, by the way? Uh, the, I think I only had clean two. One. This guy? Yeah. Yeah. And that was... Who was that? That was Adelhard Longrime goes down. Oh no. So, full stack, the mighty archer gets one experience. And yep. there's no five experience. We'll get rolled on the table after this match. Whoop whoop! You. Okay, combats. How do I want to split this? So, he's a sergeant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so, Bovo's just going to kill him. So, we'll do <laughs> these two against him. Yeah. And this one against him. Uh, and we'll do this one first. Okay. I think. Yep. So you have two strikes. I have one. You get a two, so double one from you. Sorry. Nope. <laughs> uh, okay. So he's not prone. Yeah. He has strength four and a war spell. Yeah. So I need threes. Let's see. At least one. Yeah. Yeah. So you get one experience. Yeah. And that's the. That's. Uh, Bran. Yeah, that's Bovo going oh, down. Right. Hmm? He does not have a war spare. Uh, I'm confusing. Oh! Yeah, so oh! Yeah, yeah. He lives! Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to use might? Because uh, yeah. this is Sergeant, right? Yeah, he yeah? is. Uh, but Good. you also are not a hero of any kind? No. No. Uh, I get another set with strikes, don't you? Oh, yes, you yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Ah, there he goes down. Okay, Ooh. so that's an experience for him. Yeah. So yeah. Bram gets another experience. So it's not what you see is what you get on your warband. Ooh. Yo, it is. It, the war spares and the spares are just the same. Also, oh, he has a spare, not yeah. a war spare. Ah, yeah. okay. So I they, see. Yeah. I see. Since he evolved from a normal warrior. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So we have a Tolman in white and a archer in. Black against your normal goat rider. Yep. Come on, come on. I get a five heist. Whoa. Five heist. Damn it. Same as well. So that means you win on fight value? Yep. Yep. So they go down. Let's see. Uh, we're one of them a hero? Yep. Yeah. Tolman is okay. a hero. Yep. So we're going to have to do one strike at him first? Yeah. Or a double, double strike? Uh huh. Needing, he's got a war spare or not? Yeah. Yeah. So. Freeze. Get yeah, a six. Gets one. So that's a uh, fate point. Nope. So you get one experience for him. Yeah. And then. Doesn't it? One wound and one play? Or is it just No, just if it's saved. Okay. Yeah. Um, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the next one. Mm -hmm. Gets a five. Five. So he's also done. So that's four hobbits in one turn. That's horrible. That's honey you, the rider. Let's mm. get first experience point. All right, let's go for priority. Turn something. Goes to me. Oh no. So I'll let you have a think about what you're going to do. Thank you. So, with me not deciding to uh, to call in heroics, the goats are storming in, uh, along with um, with a guy going around trapping this guy, uh, and we have one reinforcement coming in over here. So yeah, and we have a hero in this combat, and we have a hero in this combat. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to try something. Uh, you have a shot before anything yeah. else. Yeah, could, uh, could shoot that gun. Is it clean because of the uh, the crate, or is it in the way? I, I I would say it's in the way. Okay. Yeah. So we have one in the way. All right. So a four four to hit. Yep. yep. Misses. <laughs> My point. No. No. Okay, um, combats. I'm gonna declare a heroic combat with this hero. Okay, 
I'm going to declare a hero combat with Bran, who is uh, atop the hill. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, so we see who gets it first. You had priority, so you roll to see who gets it. Uh, yeah. I'm saying that the dwarves are evil. Okay. So you get one, two, or three. Yeah, let's yeah. see. Goes to me. Okay, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so Bran can go first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two dice. Yeah. I get a two. Okay, six. A six, you win. Uh, four strikes needing threes. Yeah, you do not have no, a force No, four, yeah. force with him. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah. He gets him. So another experience for Bran. Bran the Mighty. Bran the Mighty. So where do you want him to go? Uh, we want him down. Where are your heroes again? Uh, it was uh, one double. here and one here. Okay, so we're going to bring him around here mm -hmm. into those two okay yeah. right so my hero combat goes off um let's see i have doesn't matter uh so i'll piercing strike yeah let's see i have strength strength two so piercing strike so it goes up to three He's got a defense of six, but the goat has a defense of five. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going piercing striking with him. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. And I have no might left. So we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Setting the bar at a six. Oh. And you don't yeah. get the six, so I win. Yeah, you do. Fantastic. And he's trapped. And he's trapped. So. Uh, trying to kill the leader with my leader, needing sixes. Oh. No, uh, the killing the goat rider yeah. with my leader. Uh, well, well, my sergeant. Uh, nope. Uh, with the other hobbit with the mallet. Nope. And then piercing strike taking out the goat. Oh, poor goaty. No, I'm gonna re-roll that one. Yeah. Really unlucky. Yeah, I am. Okay. So that was the hero combat failing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, you decide. Yeah. So, yes. how do you want to split this? Uh, let's see. So, it should be. So, that's the hero, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Just him on the hero? Yeah, just my hero against your hero. Yeah, okay. And that one against that one, and yeah. that one against these and, two. And if I lose, I'm knocked anyway, so it doesn't matter which way we're taking him because you're not trapped. Alright, so starting with that fight, the yeah. one closest to you. Yeah, so that's just the one guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have a war spare, so yeah. you win on threes. So it doesn't matter. So we'll we'll just piercing strike. Yeah. Okay. To try to take out the goat. I rolled a one, so you win that combat. Yeah. You roll the three high, so I'm gonna re-roll that. No. Yes, I am. Don't. Damn it! Uh, it ah. What? Okay. So you win. Yeah. Let's see threes. And no wound. No wound. But I get another set of strikes. Yeah, you get another set of strikes. I keep forgetting. It. Hey, he lives! <laughs> he lives! The boy who lived. Way! Uh, okay. So, my hero against your hero? Uh, yeah, your sergeant against my hero. Yeah. yeah. Mine is out of might. Mine has might. Get a six! No. Come on! Damn it! Six as well. Ah. <laughs> and he only has a normal spare. Yeah. So, so I need force. Yeah. That's one. I have a fate point. Damn it. So another experience for Bran. Bran the Mighty. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, Last combat, we have two guys. Yeah. So I'm going piercing strike with the axe. Four highs. You win on fight. Yeah. And he has a wasp bear. He's my leader. Yeah, so you went on freeze. Yeah, so on the left one. Mm -hmm. He goes down. Mm -hmm. And the right one. 
goes down. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So Magni, the Fury Wall Leader, gets two kills. Yeah, so I have four models left on the table. I'm broken. Okay. Five, six models left on the table. I'm still broken. Okay. Um, yeah. So still broken. Ends on the one and two. Not this turn, next turn. Okay. Because okay. the condition has just been met. Yeah. So, we roll priority. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, okay, so I've used my might, so I can't call anything. Then there's no reason for me to do it. No. No, so I just have to take it. Yeah. Take it like a man. Like a hobbit. <laughs> That's true. A fake dwarfs. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, I just need to clean out there so we can get the game to end. Uh, let's see. He jumps in here. Charges in on both. Yep. Yeah. Then he loses his charge bonus because he's charging into a forest. Oh, no. He does not want that. No? No. He said. Smarter dwarf than I am. <laughs> A smarter dwarf than you are. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's see. So yeah, we're just gonna pile up on them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he will charge in here. There we go. Yeah, I think that's the correct play. Yeah. 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 So and I'll position myself so this guy can't see him. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna move my dwarf so he's yeah he should be inside this. So, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. No shooting. No. Oh. So combats. Anything you want to call? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Because you have one might left with him, right? Yeah. We're gonna call yeah. a heroic combat with him. Okay. Yeah. So that is against a normal warrior with a mallet. He's gonna fight it bravely. No, yeah. you win automatically. So yeah. just roll to wound. You you bought a war spare for him. Yeah. Yeah. That's so freeze. The one with the cape. Uh, he gets yeah. it. So he goes around here and into him. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're not trapped anymore, sadly. <laughs> Take the prone one first, yep. prone hobbit, he's just gonna fight. Five! He gets to stand up. Yeah. Way! Brave hobbit. Brave little hobbit. Is he named Frodo? Uh, no, oh. he is named... What's his name? His name is... Chilperic! Not wise. Chill break, not wise. Should be a hero. Yeah, he should be. And then, which combat now? We have three combats okay. left. We're gonna start with my leader, the one with the cape. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm dying in a way, so piercing strike. Oh, it's a six! <laughs> Damn it! Ah. <laughs> so he wounds on threes with his war spell. Uh, that's yeah. a hobbit going down. Not a hobbit. So I'm gonna get some other kill. It's like an experience test. Yeah. Uh, which one next? Uh, the prancing goat. The prancing goat. So yeah. we're your sergeant again. Yeah, but not many people know that the prancing goat is a very popular dwarven bar, which is much better than the prancing pony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna fight it. It's a five. It's strong, but it's you five. roll equal, so it's not that strong. And that's the one with no war spell? Yeah, so fours. Yeah. Let's see. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> Look at all the hobbits. So Graham gets another one. Yeah. And final combat. Yeah. Possibly of the game. Yeah. Normal goat. Oh no, it's a two. Oh shouldn't you roll a one on the other one yeah. as well? <laughs> with a little sporting option. Let's see. And threes. Yeah. Yeah, he is down. All right, so uh, you had priority, so you can roll the die, see if it ends on a one or a two. Yeah, let's see, that's, the, that's Snorri, actually, that got the kill. Snorri. Yeah, so, yeah. See? Six. It doesn't end. Okay? Yep. Priority? I get it? Yep. Yes, I do. Um, right, so. 
Uh, he automatically fails his courage test now yep. because I want to run away. Yep. And he automatically fails his courage test and runs away. Because yep. this isn't working. No. <laughs> so these three doesn't have to roll on the injury table because yep. he automatically gets back next turn. Yep. So I have, uh, that means I have 12 hobbits uh, which sadly fell. <laughs> so you get three objectives, but that's all you need to win. Uh, so you win the game, and we'll see what happens with all oh, these poor hobbits. Oh. So we'll calculate and come back in the post-battle battery breakdown with the final result. So thank you for the game. Thank you. <laughs> all right, that was a game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my hobbits were absolutely slaughtered. Yeah, you mean fake dwarfs? I'm I'm fake dwarfs. Yeah. They're too small to be dwarfs. Yeah, yes. Uh, people may argue that actually hobbits are not a um, species by their own, but they're just female dwarfs that got thrown out of the hold. No, you, you saw female dwarfs in a hobbit movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they have bears as well. Yeah. Uh, all right, so um, what happened was basically that you you slaughtered my entire warband and I tried to shoot you and that failed. Yeah. <laughs> so, and once you got into combat, it wasn't. And yeah. everything's dead. Yeah, and I feel I was quite lucky on the dice roll, and you was quite unlucky, so yeah. Yeah, so uh, two of my hobbits ran away, um, voluntarily, uh, and the rest of them all went down. So we rolled a pile of injury rolls, yep. um, and the result was, fantastically enough, that two of my hobbits, uh, three of my hobbits, my normal hobbits, so that was leered hard, uh, Adelhard and uh, who's the last one? Uh, and Angelbert. They're missing the next game. Uh, Pantalon got an old battle wound. Yep. Uh, but Tolman, Tolman rolled um, rolled twelve, so he uh, he got a new fate point. So he has two fate points. Ooh, fantastic nice. work. Yeah. Uh, we got some experience. But only two of my heroes went up in level. But uh, Holfast with a big hammer, he went up in strength. Cool. And um, Tolman with his shooty arrows, he went down in shoot values. He's now shooting on two plus. Cool. So fantastic work, guys. Um, I recruited some models. I rolled up a new Hobbit Archer. And I used um, my remaining points on a doggy. So we have a hunting dog <laughs> called Fido. He has better fight value than anything in my warband. <laughs> uh, and equal strength as Holfast. And he can move 8 inches. So, um, so hopefully he can snag an objective or do stuff. Yeah, you should make him your general. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I just realized I can have 28 models. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think maybe I can, yeah, I can have 28 models because each of my heroes can have a dog or something. Yeah. Uh, so I'll try to do that because I just need numbers. Yeah. All the models <laughs> in the world. So for the next game, I'll have. So I had three missing and I bought a new model and a dog. So I'll have 14 models to play with next game. Yeah. Still uh, quite a sizable force though. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, how did it go with your guys? So you obviously didn't have any uh, injury rolls to make. Nope. And my <laughs> I got a lot of experience points though. And my general went up two levels. Mm -hmm. And I rolled a five and a ten. So uh, he gets the rally to me, uh, which increases his range by standby to from three to no, just increases by three. So yeah. I think it's six mm. uh, up to nine. Uh, six up to twelve. No, but it only gets three, so, it's, oh, yeah, so he has a six nine inch nine. stand fast now. Yeah. And he go also got another might point, so he has two might now, Ooh. which is very handy. Nice. Yeah, and the uh, crossbow dwarf uh, reached the level as well, and he got uh, shoot, so his shoot value is now three plus instead of four plus, mm. which is also very nice. And I think that was about it. No, um, Bran, my second. Sergeant with a goat got uh, plus one courage. Yeah, yeah, from his level up, which is yeah, it's it's okay. So and I have four influence, 
going to win this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm considering oh. buying a Raven, but I'm going to save it because I think my battle rating is a bit too high. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to ease off. But you've got white. six campaign points yeah. uh, for this game. And you had, from before, you had eight. Yep. So you have 14 campaign points. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. All the games of round three have now been played. Yep. Uh, so we'll we'll have round four kicking off on Monday. Oh, so nice. we'll see who gets to play each other then. Yeah. So that was this battle company battle report. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed seeing my hobbits absolutely smashed and slaughtered. But uh, luckily none of them died. Yeah. Uh, that's that's fantastic. Not a single hobbit has died so far, and as as long as they don't die, I'm I'm pretty happy. Yeah, they're also kind of kind-hearted. Just... After this, you call them kind-hearted. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully, I get to film my next battle report as well, uh, so we can continue feeding you information about the the campaign. Um, I think there is only one player on three wins so far, and that's Kenneth who plays Ministerith. Yeah. Because he won against Helena's um, uh, Army of the Dead, yeah. so only one player is on uh, on full eighteen campaign points so far. Yeah. So uh, we'll see who gets to play each other. Until next time, I've been Andreas the Major Viking, joined here by Snorri for this game. Thank you for watching, and please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And do consider supporting STF on Patreon using the link in the description below. It is a fantastic way for you to support our efforts here on the channel, and Snorri is also a patron. Yeah. So thank you for your support. Um, <laughs> it really helps us a lot. We've upgraded the lights, um, and sadly not for this mission, but we, we upgraded our sound quality with microphones. Uh, and we're doing a lot of things, not just inside the actual filming studio, but also outside in the gaming hall to increase the community as well and to make them more, um, have better better quality venue to play in basically. So all support is highly appreciated. You can pledge for a dollar a month or whatever amount you, you feel you have, uh, have to give. And it, it really, really helps to build the community, build the channel and get more cool videos for you each and every week. So, uh, until then, um, yeah, bye and support your hobby. Bye!